Hey, I'm Tantan. No, wait a minute. This is my second channel. I'm not gonna do any fancy editing. I'm just gonna put together some stuff real quick and uh, chill out. So today we're gonna take a look on this combat. The game doesn't feel that challenging at the moment. It feels a little bit stiff. There's a lot of improvements to make on the combat. And I have written down a list of things I will implement into the game. It's hard to pinpoint the exact problems because it could be a multitude of things. For example, the camera placement. If you had bad camera placement in your game, chances are you might feel disconnected to the player. I'm gonna take a look on similar games to see how they place their cameras. That can improve the game a little bit. Sound effects. Probably not gonna get rid of the stiff feeling of the combat. Sound effects are really good for getting feedback. Did I shoot the ground or did I shoot the enemy? Did I do any damage? Etc. Health bars. It is really hard at the moment to know how much health you have or how much health the enemy has. So that's something to add. Player animation might help improve the game feel a little bit nicer. Spell UI showing the cooldowns for the spells. It may look like I only have one spell, which is this projectile, but if I right click, bam, I do a pushback if thing. Finally, I've written down that I will finalize one playstyle, and that is the Archer. I already have those spells in the game, you can shoot projectiles and you can push enemies back. Those are the core spells I'm gonna focus on to make a Archer playstyle work. If I finalize all the aspects touching this, that means adding an actual arrow projectile model instead of a red cube, having animations for all of these steps, maybe combat will be more fun. Let's do this. Someone asked me in the comments, why are you using Linux? Let me show you guys. That is why I'm using Linux. It takes me one second to open the project and I can go ahead and do some programming. Camera! I wanna take a peek into how Cube World does their camera, but I'm on Linux. That backfired. Wait, let me see if they have a Linux support. You better have Linux support. Frick. Let's investigate some videos because I'm not gonna dual boot right now. They have their camera right over the head of the character. Their character is a bit smaller than mine. So if we take a look on my game, uh... that's why I use Linux. It's so fast. It's so fast. I mean, when I'm zoomed out, that's fine. But when I get closer, maybe the offset should be smaller. Yeah, so when I zoom out the <laughs> Y position all- Whoa, this is crazy! Right, Valorant works on Linux. Why don't I check that out instead? Valorant's camera is not offset that high up. I tweaked the settings a little bit. After all of that tweaking, I don't think the camera is any problem. All right, let's implement health bars. How do we do that? Unfortunately, the UI part of the Beva game engine isn't that developed yet and I haven't seen anyone do health bars in 3D games yet. That got me thinking, okay, maybe when we draw the UI to a render texture and then we draw that render texture to a quad in the 3D scene. That might be the most customizable ways to do that. I don't just want a health bar, I also want the creature name and the numbers for the health also. I can probably get that up and running in a few hours, but... <laughs> Man, dealing with rendering and all of that. Ugh. I went through all the possible ways I can implement health bars and then I realized, hey, wait a minute. What is the stupidest, easiest implementation I can make? And then I can refactor it in the future when I need a more finalized health bar. Why don't we just make a quad, a black quad, that's the background, and a red or green quad for the health that we just stretch. That would probably work, so let's go ahead and implement that. Here's my problem. I have a health bar. And it's supposed to look to the camera, but it's a child of the player. The health bar inherits the player's rotation, which makes it do this. Figuring out the math on how to fix this was a pain. I need to take the parent rotation, the player, and get the inverse rotation of the player. And then I can set my health bar's rotation to be the inverse of that, plus the rotation I want. Quaternions, I, I can't even explain how it works. I asked for some help in the Bevy Disco group, so big thank you to Secret Pocket Cat and Ikshompe. This would have taken me a really long time to figure out, but we got working health bars. And of course it looks really silly right now, because it's just a quad, and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, make it the easiest, stupidest implementation first, and then we refactor it and make it better. 
I love this programming philosophy. What is the most obvious way to implement a health bar? Well, let's go to the where I instantiate the crab and well, I could add a health bar child to that crab. That would work, but it would have the side effect that everywhere you spawn an entity that needs a health bar, what if you forget to add the health bar child? Whether or not there is a better way and it's insanely cool. You cannot do this with the Unity game engine without jumping through some hoops. And you can do this in Bevy just like that. Let's check it out. I have this attach health bar system function. And what it does is that I query all of the entities in the world that has a health component. By saying added, this query will only execute when an entity gets the health component added to them. This only happens once. What I do in this code is that I iterate all of these entities that just got a health component and then I add a child entity containing the health bar UI stuff. And the health bar UI is simply two quads, one is black, one is red. Can you see how powerful this is? We are extending the behavior of the health components without having to write spaghetti code everywhere. It's really cool. Anyway, the red quad entity that shows the actual health, I will attach this health bar component to it. And all this health bar component does is that it points to the entity containing the health data. This is a bit hard to explain, so bear with me. How do I update this UI? First of all, let's fetch the health bar entities. This is the red quad. And then we need the actual health data. What I simply do is I loop through all of the health bar entities and they will have a pointer to the health entity. That way I can get the health component and their percentage. And then I can set the scale and transform of this quad. Why is it so hard to explain code? Anyway, that's how I implemented health bars without adding spaghetti code everywhere. All I need to do is enable or disable this health bar plugin and it will magically create health bars for me. I really hope OBS records the audio because I got audio now. Also, I modeled a 3D arrow, which you can see. It's not a red cube anymore. I'm not particularly satisfied with how I implemented audio, but I'm building it first and then I'm refactoring it later. So everything that happens when I shoot the projectile happens in here, including audio. I played the bow release sound uh, with the randomized pitched. Since I will have more than one type of projectile and they will have different sounds, this code should probably be moved somewhere else and the projectile should have the sound data. Bevis Audio hasn't developed that much yet, so they don't have any spatial 3D audio, uh, which is uh, a bit of a con. Bevy doesn't have everything yet. Oh, don't look on those cacti. Uh, no, no, no. This might be the ugliest thing I've ever made. I just want some animations for the player character, so we're gonna temporarily use this. Okay, we got the new model in, and even though the model is really ugly, having these animations make it feel so much better than just the T-Pose villager or whatever I was using before. As you can see, um, if I shoot looking towards the camera, that looks a bit weird. That is something to fix. And I don't know why, but the left foot isn't moving. Uh, it's really weird. It's coming together nicely. Oh, there's an error right there. What is this? Problem with multiple animation players. Hmm. 